Earlier today, I witnessed an emotional meeting between a heart transplant patient and his future donor. I'm here today with heart patient Ian Dulgence, who today is going to meet the donor who could save his life. Ian, how does it feel to meet the man who's going to give you his heart? No, he's not the donor. He's my brother. I understand the donor and his brother are actually here. Genetic researcher Francis Furter told us more. Well, there's a real shortage of um, human donors for people like Ian. Um, so we felt that uh, the pigs could be the answer. I've actually snipped out some of their genes to make the organs more suitable for humans. Are you the donor? So what are your plans after the transplant? Well, I was thinking of going on an adventure holiday. Do you have any plans after the operation? Hearts from genetically altered pigs sounds unnatural, unethical even. But does the alternative, hearts from human donors, seem any less disturbing? What is driving Christian Barnard? In a blaze of publicity, he's travelled the globe since performing the world's first heart transplant. After time out in Hollywood, an audience with a pope and dinner with Sophia Loren, our very own heart doc is still the nation's heart throb. This afternoon, we'll have Chris live in the studio to tell us about the day he made history. Scalpel. Suction. Distolic BP less than 20. I'm removing the diseased heart and switching on the bypass machine. I'm, I'm staring at an empty chest cavity. No one's ever seen a living patient like this before. Keep calm, Chris. Keep calm. Get the donor heart. The first ever heart donor, Denise Darval. 25 years old, Denise was certified brain dead after an horrific car accident. But her heart is still healthy. A life support machine keeps her body breathing. Scalpel. Rib spreader. Monkey wrench. Time to turn off the life support. Christian nailing Barnard and removing the heart from that young woman's body, you stand accused of murder. My brother, for your pioneering services to cardiac surgery, you are awarded this year's Nobel Prize. Christiane Needling Burner, transplant pioneer, knows that only Ozo can deal with those oh so difficult to remove stains. No! Uncertain of the legal boundaries of death, Barnard lets Denise's heart stop before removing it. Come on, come on. Get started, get started. Come on. Professor Barnard, let me give you my heartfelt thanks. I feel like a new man. On the first Frankenstein.
Thanks to Barnard's pioneering work, four out of five heart transplant patients now live for at least two years after surgery. But there are three transplant patients for every heart available in the UK. And many donor hearts come from healthy young people killed in road traffic accidents.